Hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Ebe here and I'm back at one of my favorite places, Brent Tuning, to get my Ducati Pinagalle 1199R and Pinagalle B4R custom tuned by Brendan himself. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, tap that bell and you'll get notified when new content is uploaded. Look at these beautiful little girls waiting their turn to get put on the dyno so that Brendan can work his magic and make them even more awesome than they are right now. My V4R has a beautiful 998cc V4 engine installed and the 1199R got a 1299S engine implanted into it about a year ago. So uh, that's an L twin engine. So we're gonna see what happens once Brendan works his magic on these beautiful machines. So today you have your 2019 V4R. Yep. Um, we're gonna show the differences between like the Acropovic or the Terminogi up map and custom tuning. Um, the V4 is like a pet project of ours because there's really no information out there of these at all. Mm -hmm. So we've slowly had to develop a lot of the maps, um, how to flash them. You know, a couple of us have been working on it yeah. and sold this information. A lot of the people that tune Ducati V4s today are because of me and a couple other people. Yeah. So even our competitors, they don't know that. <laughs> so um, we started with Chris's V4R and my personal V4 yes. to try to figure out how to do this, get in this bike. It took about two years. Wow. Um, I know you were hounding me when you first got yours. Yes. Very slow process. Mm -hmm. So still figuring out stuff even up to this week. So we're going to add our newest feature, which is the uh, fuel cut, uh, in injector deceleration fuel cut okay. off. Um, we can actually leave the injector on for more precise engine braking. Um, something that's been worked out in the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. Makes Ducati much more rideable because as a lot of people you know, complain is the on-off throttle snatching. It just the, dies when yeah. you stop accelerating. So, so now as much as you can adjust the million engine braking maps in these bikes, when the fuel's shutting off and you know the injectors are shutting off, the bike's gonna nosedive regardless. Yes. So this gives you, you know, more street ability and you know more differences of the track. So it's a feature we're gonna start and add on this bike today. Okay. Um, so right now we're gonna baseline the way it came in. Okay. With the typical you know Acra and the Acra racing map. Yep. Um, pretty standard setup that most of these bikes have. Actually, in my opinion, pretty good file. Um, okay. Not a lot of complaints, but you can take it to another level. So we're going to show people today what you pay for, what you get for features, drivability, um, per bank tuning, and then we're going to show the strengths of race fuel when we're done. Okay. And then from there, we're going to go to your awesome <laughs> L twin, yeah, um, Frankenstein bike. <laughs> yes, right. Right. Yes. Which it was are a different the very difficult to tune the older bikes, but these a little more straightforward. Continental computer um, from the Monster, and a little, little easier. The Mitsubishi computer in that bike, very mm -hmm. archaic, old, complicated. So um, we'll give it a whirl. We'll run a baseline right now, and then uh, get some numbers. Then we'll start the tuning process. <laughs> Chris's V4R. 194 horsepower? Yeah, 194, 196 with that, yeah. um, you know, the, the Ducati performance map and the uh, Acra. Okay, uh, not bad, but I was expecting a little more. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna give her a little more right now. Okay. They are very heat sensitive, mm -hmm. so more so than the BMW. As these bikes get hot, they do pull power. Okay. Um, we're still working on a 
fan solution like people love in the 11 and 1299. It's been very hard to find that map. So that's something we are working on. I'm going to use my uh, little master tool here today. Slide okay. this wide band back in too. It looks like it fell out. Um, I'm going to load my base calibration based off, you know, what I just saw in that uh, fueling and I'll raise that rev limiter up a little bit. Okay. And um, see what power she'll make. When you say rev the rev, raise the rev limit, right now it's at what? And what are you, what are you going to take it to? Yeah, the, the V4R is uh, tapered by gear. Mm -hmm. um, it only gives you the full rev limit in the higher, I believe it's fifth gear. Okay. So we've been experimenting with massaging that a little bit in the lower gears. We obviously don't want to scatter a beautiful motor. So yes. we've had some test dummies, some wild, <laughs> some wild, I don't care. Customers, kamikaze type guys kamikaze customers yeah. and we found so far so good yeah um the really best way to do it is to put oil pressure gauge on the motor see what's doing in those in those lower gears okay um but we've made gentle changes over the years and we're confident so far than what we've seen works so we're going to apply what we know is safe to this bike okay and uh and go from there all right Tear this one down. Um, we put the 11.99 on. Okay. But um, 215 horsepower on racing fuel. Yep, 215. A little bit of uh, 93 still in there because of the way the tank's baffled. But yeah. um, they do like high octane a lot. So about 194, 195. Yep. With the rate uh, Ducati performance map. Um, 203, 204 with the 93 uh, for tuning flash yeah. and. 214, 215 with the MR12 uh, map. So that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. We'll uh, we'll get some overlays off the dyno computer to you, and uh, we'll paste them in the video. Yep. So you guys can look at it. But overall, um, pretty strong engine. A lot of people don't realize that that wide, huge power band at the top is why they're so fast. They're over 200 wheel horsepower. I want to say for 3,000, 3,500 RPMs and climbing, not plateauing and falling down. So with these bikes, it's very important to keep them on the steam, high RPM, geared correctly. They're yeah. not mid-range monsters. A normal leader bike or a base V4 is gonna pull away. But when this thing gets moving, it's, you know, it's a racing MotoGP bike, so it's what it's good for. Yep. So next up, we'll take this L-Twin over here, the original, 
dinosaur that everybody loves so much. Oh yeah, I love it. And uh, with the 1299 engine, really the best motor that, you know, the evolution of these bikes. Yes. In reliability of these bikes. Yep, I haven't had any package. issues with it at all. Yep, with the cool um, you know, features of the 1199R. So uh, we'll get this one on and we'll get it based on it. bike's a little funky obviously it has a motor transplanted um, yes it has an 1199 base model ecu which is what's called 205 software it's like the you know 2012 2013 i believe this bike is a 13 seven? this bike's a 13 okay yes it has it's an 1199r by nature mm -hmm. and it's had the motor swap to 1299 so it has wiring harness from an 1199r the ECU from a, as far as software, a base 1199, which was a different motor. And then obviously a motor from a, what is it? 1290, 1219, 1299 So this one's a little bit of a, a Frankenstein, but yeah. now that we have the data squared out here and you know a couple data logs out of it, we can see what we need to do as far as custom tuning. I bet you from history, this will make in the low to mid 190s when it's done. Oh, wow. And the torque will be probably 104, 105. Okay. You can quote me because I do these all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so the first reading we did that had 187 horsepower and yeah, so uh, 101, 102 foot pounds of torque basically was your tune for an 1199R. The 1199R map that I mm -hmm. yeah, had given you originally yes. back in, we did this what, 16 together? Yeah, 16. Pretty good map, as you can see, it made, yeah. made some power, but the, um, and then we went back and we had a stock 1299 map on there. Yep. 183, I believe. 183. Mm -hmm. 97, you can see the rev limiter cut short. Um, now with the data from both, we kind of have an idea of what this engine wants and where it's going to be happy. So I'm going um, to start with my first custom file here. I'm going to load it into the bike, um, get some more info. And from there, um, you know, probably have to make two changes to get this one right. Okay. And a couple more. Um, the beauty of my map is it's very, very, very flat, so I could see the changes that the 1299 motor wanted without having to make a ton of crazy changes. So um, looking forward to that yep. shortly, probably in about 15 minutes, we'll get this file in here. pulling torque it's 100 yeah 104 which is a lot uh, as you can see the power band ends at about 11.8 tuned 
and uh, the V4R is just starting to wow. come alive. Yeah. Um, you can see the, you know, the, the massive 16,500 RPM. Um, but down here, it's not even comparable. But, I mean, on the circuit, one's faster than the other. Right. So it's like you're not even looking. It's like you're looking at two different dynographs, but these are actually based on <laughs> RPM. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. One of them looks like a diesel, a little yeah. short revving motor, and the other yeah. one looks like an F1 motor. So uh, pretty cool to see, even though, you know, peak power is not crazy different. Um, that one of them is just a complete monster. So looks good. So I'm yeah. just going to I'll pull up the traces in a moment of the... Uh, we have here, we have the, yeah, we have the, um, the stock, 1299, 183, we have the, the 1199R base tune that we had before, yep. and then the tweaking that we've done to be for this motor, the gains after 8,000 are pretty significant, it's got, you know, the, um, 10, 11, 12,000 RPMs of, I'm sorry, 10, 11, 12 more horsepower yes. after 9,000 RPMs from the, the changes we made. The 1299 motor obviously takes in more air and the tune ran a lot leaner. Uh, when we got the fuel back into spec, about 0.9 Lambda, which is what these motors like, um, you can see down here. Perfect, right on the money. Once we did that, the, that's where the extra power came from. Yeah. Um, the stock and the base calibration were a little too high, about 13.8. So it's uh, it's running real well now. We have the new features, the one-to-one -one throttle in high mode. Um, we have the lower fan activation, which is a must-have on these bikes because yes. they, they burn your legs pretty good. So Ebe's all uh, latest and greatest here. Yeah. Ready to hit the streets. Ready to see <laughs> uh, Moto Million for some new, uh, some new parts. Yes, sir. So we're good to go for the day. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Once again, you've done a great job, Brendan, yeah, man. No problem, man. Anytime. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, folks, you saw it again. Brendan just hooked up my 1199 Pinagalli R with the 1299S engine. It produces serious power now. 194 horsepower, 105 foot-pounds of torque. And then he hooked up the uh, Pinagalli V4R. I think it made, I don't know, 205 horsepower. 70 some odd foot pounds of torque so that bike is pretty awesome too and of course i am very happy with what brendan did to my awesome machines here today so uh yeah i'm gonna pack these things up and head on back to filthy cleveland if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button if you're already a subscriber tap that bell and you'll get notified when new content is uploaded let's take one more look at the absolutely stunning moto million special edition Ducati Pinagalle V4R. This thing is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful machine. All of the parts that Mandy from Moto Million bestowed onto this bike, simply amazing. There's no other word for it. Rotobox bullet, carbon fiber wheels, Brembo nickel plated uh, calipers back there with bleeder valves. Um, the same type of calipers up front, uh, carbon fiber, cooling ducts, just an amazing machine. Everything he did, to the controls here, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Rizoma brake reservoirs, bleeder valves over there. This is just an amazing motorcycle, so much to mention. Full carbon fiber belly pan that's been custom painted by my good friends at Ducati Detroit, as well as a cup carbon fiber subframe, also custom painted by the good folks at Ducati Detroit. Make this bike a one of a kind, serious, serious motorcycle that has only rivaled, in my opinion, by the Ducati uh, Panigale Superleggera V4. So yeah, an amazing motorcycle indeed. Thanks so much for viewing the videos, guys. We'll catch you next time. And we'll be back here at Bryn Tuning sometime soon. We'll catch you next time.